Dan, when did you start working here? <clears throat> My first summer was the summer of 1973. Was this your uh, first projecting job, or were you other yeah, parts yeah, of the no, Well, my first one would have been at the Sanilac in Sandusky. I learned them up there, and then they moved me out here a few months later. Which one do you like better? Uh, I would much rather be out here, <laughs> not confined to a little room, you know. Okay, well, we're getting ready to go to reel three of Independence Day. I'm gonna check my carbons out here. Got some new ones stuck in there. Look like they're ready to go, so we'll just... Those is up, got about a minute to go. I'm gonna be looking for, I'm gonna look, be looking for my Q marks, the uh, little black dot you see in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. You see one at eight seconds to the end of the reel, and you see another one at one second. And that's when I will change projectors. How has the projection changed since you started? Pretty much the same, or? Uh, for me, it hasn't changed a bit out here. It's, it's still original right from the day it was installed back in 1948. What kind of projectors? Uh, well, we use 35 millimeter optical sound projectors. Uh, is, it, is, it, is the brand important? It's a, it's a simplex, it's called, it's made by RCA, which I'm sure they're obsolete now. I don't, I know they don't make projectors like this anymore, but we can still get parts for them, so I don't know, maybe they are. Huh? I've seen them. all the places I've been, these are the projectors I've seen, so they seem to be it's a, it, Yeah, it's a standard type projector. There, there was another company, National, I guess, that, that made some projectors, Century. So there's a few other companies, but the RCA Simplex is the ones I've seen the most anywhere I've been. There's the first one. Six seconds, five, four, three, Two, one, start. And we're over here. <laughs> there, get the carbon shut off. Open up the gates. Two out. Put her up. And she's still blowing red hot. All right. Put this one over here in the rewinder. Be kind. Rewind, they say, right? Do you project full time? Is that a full time job? Uh, no, I'm also a bartender, and I also work for a, a, a satellite installation company, sell Prime Stars. So this is, you just do this on the side then? More or less, just in the summer. A little extra fun in the summer, you know. <laughs> now, what's it do with the rods on these instead of a bulb? What is the difference? Well, back in the old days, this was the only method they knew of to create a, a light intense enough to serve this purpose. I guess you could say. So what does it do? Well, what is it? What is the rod? And the it's it's a, it's a copper coated carbon rod. The copper conducts the electricity and uh, allows it to, to burn. Anything wild ever happened here? You know, this project you see anything wild happen at the highway or no? No, I remember the time I had to wake the couple up in the car. When I walked up there with a flashlight, I got a got an eyeful. <laughs> Stick a new positive one in here. The right side is positive, the back side is the negative. And the the arc, it just it throws the arc here, right? Just right between the two ends of the rods. To fire it up, I hit power and I just touch them together kind of like that and they explode into a burst of light. A little motor on the other side feeds them down as they burn up. You know, when they burn up, they get rather short, like that. You know? What changes have you seen here since you started? I know you guys have found a radio sound. Tell me about that. <clears throat> yeah, a few years ago, I finally got the idea that we needed to do something about those little chintzy speakers. So I got together with a buddy of mine, and we built a, an FM transmitter. 
hooked her up and uh, much better. Now the sound sounds as good as the stereo in your car does. And we can rent these things out now, these, these little Walkman radios. So if you want to just walk around and listen to the movie, you can just, just put these suckers on, you know, and off you go. What was the deal with changing the, uh, the frequencies? Well, we yeah, we kind of jogged the frequency around over the years, trying to find a good, clean one. But uh, but this year we got a new transmitter hooked up, and I uh, wanted to get the best the best sound we could out of it. So I lowered it down to 87.9, which is a clear frequency up here. The other one last year was getting a little interference from from a Detroit station, I do believe. Where are we at here? I'm starting to get down towards the end. I mean, this Independence Day is one of the longest movies this year at two hours and 20 minutes. Shipped it to me on eight separate reels. How many, how many do you usually get? How many reels? Uh, six it would be more of an average, I guess. But a lot of movies are just on five. You know? No, I, I expect to see this stick around for a while. You, know, you got to think, there's a lot, of, a lot of people, a lot of kids coming of age now, you know, and they've grown up in the home with their little... VCR movies, rentals, and you know, and that's all they've known, and they don't, they don't, they're not going to want to sit around and watch movies all the time on on their little TV. They want to, they're going to want to get out. You know, they're getting their driver's licenses. You know, they want, they want to get out and have some fun. So I think that uh, with the new coming of age group here right now, I think that uh, we can probably make this thing work a little while longer. You know.